welcome to Art of the Sketchbook. Sketchbooks are incredible things and they can give you so much information not only on what you want to do next but also on how you want to develop as an artist. I always think that sketchbooks really help you to find your visual voice because each sketchbook seems to have its own personality and you will find that you will create your sketchbook based on your artistic personality and that will give you a really good opportunity to find your visual voice through something which can be really ple pleasurable. The hardest thing about sketchbooks are this, that blank page, the thing that scares you the most you might go wrong because you might show everybody that you can't do this because it's something where you have to validate your artistry and creativity so what I want to do for you through this course is I want to demonstrate to you how your sketchbook can become a joy how your sketchbook should become something that you actually want to hold on tight to something that you hold close to you very naturally because you know that contained within those pages are challenges, are pages that you love, are things that you want to develop into large pieces of work or just to play. So there are lots of different reasons for creating sketchbooks and I tend to have different sketchbooks for different purposes. So if I give you a bit of an insight into my own practice this sketchbook here, you can see that has paint all over it, um, is if you like, I've started calling it my working sketchbook. This is probably the most boring sketchbook I own in that it has lots of opportunities to produce sketches actually out in the landscape, but it also has opportunities for me to explore composition in a very, very loose way. So when I'm creating paintings like the ones that you can see behind me, I want to think about composition first, I want to think about how I'm going to lead the, the viewer's eye through. My most exciting sketchbooks are not, is not the one that looks like this one here. My most exciting sketchbooks are ones where I can see there's been a creative journey. These are the ones that really help to inform my paintings. This is really a diagnostic tool for how I'm going to create composition and help me think that through. These are about my creativity, so this is what I'm going to be concentrating on with you. Within the pages of these sketchbooks, actually, I'm creating and exploring and collaging and changing compositions. Notice I'm just going to random pages and thinking about actually how these experiments can develop in a variety of different ways for a variety of different reasons. It also contains within these pages much, much sort of smaller studies and experimental um, material studies um, and small compositional sketches as well. In this sketchbook here, this is something that we're gonna, we're gonna start off with in lesson one. What I'm starting to do is I'm starting to actually break down the sketchbook page and break it down into something which is more fun and entertaining, which is actually more interactive for you as an artist, um, that challenges you a little bit as an artist, working on pages that fold over one another, that have apertures that look through, thinking about sort of different surfaces that you can work on as well within that sketchbook page, even really dividing the page up like this one here. But it's only going to be through trial and error and experimentation whether you're going to learn that that's something you want to do. So what we're going to do along the way is we're going to look at lots of different ways that we can create sketchbook pages and you'll soon learn what's the best fit for you. This is not about giving you one tool to create your sketchbook with. This is about giving you lots of opportunities for different ways for recording ideas, thoughts. You can see that this sketchbook here is actually one from visiting galleries. So this is the Barbara Hepworth Garden in St Ives. Um, so these were done on site, but then refined when I got back to base, when I got back home. So I think we often think about a sketch and we have to do it, we have to do it there and then and now and, and and if we haven't done it right, then somehow we've done something wrong. 